I understand that people really obsess, and I'm not using that word hyperbolically. They obsess about how much is environmental and how much is genetic. And I think that's a mistake. And I'll tell you why I think it's a mistake. First, it doesn't make any difference operationally. Um, we know we do know this. We know that the environment that we know how to change does not account for a lot of the difference. By the environment I, we know how to change, I mean quality of schooling, uh, parenting methods, socioeconomic status, the family. All of those things are what uh, psychologists call part of the shared environment. And that phrase comes from studies of twins raised together in the same home. You can also do it with siblings. Uh, but, but there are ways by comparing identical twins and fraternal twins where you have different proportions of genes that do share for you to partition out how much is genetic, how much is from the shared environment, parenting style, socioeconomic status, and so forth. But what happens when you do those analyses is that you have a lot left over that is an environmental effect, but it's what's called the non-shared environment. Examples of the non-shared environment would be different events in the womb, you know, exposure to different hormone levels and so forth. Uh, non-shared environment is the kids go to the same school, but one kid gets a spectacularly good teacher uh, and the other kid doesn't or that kind of thing. And by non-shared environment, two things. It is environmental. It does have effects. We don't know how to manipulate it. 